connect get some good connection here. Get some good connection in yours. <laughs> Alright, welcome back guys. And uh if you can't see it right now because somehow I got cut when I got shaved I got cut there. The little circle it starts bleeding, also it's not bleeding now. Um I never seen cutting this one like next in the nostril some of the nose before. Like I almost like my nose is bleeding. No, this is like a I got cut by a razor. I don't know what it is. So yeah, that's all I can say obviously because somehow yeah, so No oh, yeah up to so, not on top of my nose but somewhere like down the bottom nose. On the left. Down the bottom of the nostril. So if you didn't see anything but if you can't see it now because it's, it's you can't see it now but wow George? yeah can you find my telephone now I don't know where my phone is yeah, oh yeah don't know where your phone is or oh. can you can you ring it oh I could ring it <laughs> <laughs> See where it is. Last time he was in the phone last oh, time. Oh, I found it, look. Oh, yeah, you found it already. <laughs> He's in the bathroom by the toilet. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it when I came in the bathroom. And you saw it, like, you saw it in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. You had it the whole time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you had it the whole time. Okay, that's all you could say. So, yeah, yeah, that's so cool. How to use it at the beginning? How to use empathy written on Cafus for beginners? Quadrologically, you see step by step beginners guide. Yeah, five minutes remaining. Five percent remaining on my battery level. Battery level. Oh my god, I need to charge this one up now, okay. Um, at your, Georgie, at your service. <laughs> George Eaton, at your service, thank you. That's all I can say, thank you George. <laughs> what is they thanking me for? I don't know. What are they thanking me? Say thank you. So when I say thank you, me because it's my means is my pleasure. Thank you is my pleasure, and you. Thank you is the best. The best of ways, the best of us. Thank you so much. The best of ways, the best of us. That's why you can say thank you. La 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 la. Itchy and Georgie show. That's all you can imagine. Yeah. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 la 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 la. Okay, um, I've got four minutes remaining. Oh, Georgie up here, I see surface though. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it was filmed yeah. by reporters who worked at undercover for two years at the independent voice school. It was broadcast and as part of the documentary last night, Becky Johnson reports. The police were keeping a close eye on the Darul Uloom Islamic School today, aware of heightened racial tension in the area. The school says its policy is to promote understanding between faiths. This is what undercover reporters filmed during lessons for pupils as young as 11.
footage was broadcast during a dispatches documentary on Channel 4 last night. Today, the head teacher told me he believes the school was portrayed unfairly. He's taking legal advice and considering complaining to the broadcasting regulator Ofcom. They seem to selectively gather three, four incidents gathered over a period of two years. And they seem to keep on uh, replaying the same incident again and again. Uh, try to give the impression that this is what we teach. And many of those, uh, most of those incidents, we have taken action ourselves, even without any knowledge of any recordings. But to defend any fairness complaint. The school says it's carrying out its own investigation into what was shown in the documentary and will take further action if necessary. Becky Johnson in Small Heath in Birmingham. Because she can't stand your husband. What do you think it's like living with a man who puts the book before you and the kids? You walk out on your husband and your kids because you walk You split up with your ex seven years ago and you're still in love with him. This is cute, boy. And nobody wants you. You walked out on your kids. And you call yourself their mother. You let your kids eat their way to an early grave. You're surrounded by your family and friends. And you're lonely. Your partner keeps trying to get you out of your clothes because he hates them. <laughs> you expect to be paid. This is an interest. To your elderly relatives. You go out three times a week, you get blind drunk, you have casual sex, and you get into fights. But you're a girl. Yeah. I'll see you next week, guys. Take care. I'll see you next one.